Now, you hit brick walls from the very beginning. Nobody was really motivated to do much about this. Right. I, spoke, I called nine attorneys first. They all just threw up their hands and said, don't know anything about it. And so I just knew I was going to have to do it myself. And it was hard because society was very big on victim blaming. It was before the Me Too movement. And so it was an uphill battle all the way. And I had to kind of learn what revenge porn was, figure out who the website owner was, what was going on, because he lied a lot. And so I had to kind of get around, you know, the sides and find out what the truth was and figure out, you know, what we could do to get that content removed. The people that put this up have coined the term revenge porn, which is really a misnomer. It's not revenge. Uh, because if it's revenge, then that assumes that there's been some act that victimized somebody, and so they're seeking retribution for it, and that's not the case. It's not porn, because it's certainly not designed in that way when the images are created. It's certainly not entertainment, and it's not new. This kind of thing's been going on since the 1950s. There just wasn't the dissemination that there is now. When you started identifying and getting to the source, it was just stonewall lie, stonewall lie, stonewall lie. He wouldn't remove the image, her, her image. And then I also tried calling his advertisers. I tried, I called his publicist, his attorney, his ISP. And I even tried to call his mom because I thought if anybody could do something, it would be his mom. And I called her <laughs> former workplace and talked to her former associates, but she didn't work there anymore. So I was kind of trying everything I could. And my daughter actually found another one of her friends was also on the site. And so she talked to her friend and her friend said that she had been hacked. And I realized that that might be the avenue because there's obviously a hacking scheme here because I just heard of revenge porn. I only knew two people on that site and they'd both been hacked. So I thought, okay, I need to find out if there's a hacking scheme because that's a way to bring him down. And you started getting threats. Oh yeah, I got death threats, computer viruses, and we even had a stalker at our house eventually. Yeah, see that's where this gets really, really dangerous. Now, there's someone that has been here before uh, that I met, I just, uh, really admire greatly in terms of what he does and how he does it. Uh, I'm talking about James McGivney. And, and uh, James created a site called Bullyville.com and has made it his mission to shut down these sites and help victims get their images off the web. So James, welcome back. It's good to Thank see you, you again. Thank you. Um, you had actually been contacted by the site to help them with cybersecurity, right? As far as advertising, I had actually never heard of isanyoneup.com. I had never heard of the website. And I remember the first time I went to it, how jarring it was. Um, you see these women's photos, you know they didn't authorize them. And I, um, I came from a foster home uh, in New York City, and I saw some really horrific abuse of young women and girls, and I had, I snapped. I mentally and intellectually snapped, and I just knew from that moment, not only was I gonna take the site down, I wanted to destroy this guy's life. So you actually bought the site so from him. It took a, a few months to gain his trust, and um, Hunter really thought I was his friend. It's called social engineering, and that's what I did. I socially engineered him, and then there were other things that he had in his server, such as the word suicide. So you would see girls would post under their image, please take this down, I'm going to commit suicide. And when I showed him that, there was a brief moment of civility and humanity in him. And I convinced him to you know, sell me the site and I immediately forwarded it to Bullyville. So it went from a revenge porn site to an anti-bullying site because this is bullying. This is not revenge porn, this is bullying to the nth degree. So I wanted to bully him back, and that's exactly what I did. And then he launched, oh, thank you. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.